The current high level of inflation remains the biggest threat to the global economy, according to the OECD. Granted, it seems that we have passed uh, the inflation peak several months uh, ago, notably uh, in the United States and in the Eurozone, but so far inflation has not fallen much. Yet, several uh, factors are helping uh, to uh, reduce inflationary uh, pressures, and one of these uh, factors is the reduction in the supply-demand uh, imbalance, with uh, indeed uh, supply that is uh, coming under fewer uh, constraints, while they seem to be rising for demand. What signs of a turnaround in supply are we talking about? The biggest and most visible uh, factor is the reduction in procurement problems, as evidenced by the sharp drop in delivery times in the manufacturing sector since uh, the beginning of 2022. At the European uh, level, according to the European Commission survey uh, data, we can also see a more recent and still timid decline in the percentage of manufacturing companies who claim that uh, supply side factors are limiting their production. At the same time, another interesting point and worth uh, watching uh, is that since uh, about mid-2022, the same European Commission survey data have been signaling that uh, demand emerges as a factor limiting uh, production. For now, the rise is not very important and it is not uh, unexpected. But the reversal of the situation, the inversion of uh, supply and demand trends from a large uh, imbalance between strong uh, supply side constraints and weak ones on the demand side, it seems that there is a likely tipping uh, point that is worth monitoring. Another strong disinflationary signal on the supply side is the sharp decline in input prices uh, for about a year, uh, as shown by uh, PMIs. Yet, uh, there are still major pockets of inflation, resilience and persistence. Food price inflation is one of them, notably uh, in the Eurozone. Corporate pricing uh, power also remains high, as evidenced by the limited, even non-existent uh, decline in the output prices component of survey uh, data. For sure, uh, this helps uh, protect uh, corporate margins, but this also contributes to keep inflation running high, like wage acceleration and the diffusion of previous price increases. All in all, in the current battle between the two, uh, the disinflationary supply side uh, forces are only slightly winning out over the inflationary demand side uh, forces. But in the months ahead, the disinflationary uh, forces are expected to strengthen while inflationary uh, forces decline. Therefore, uh, inflation is expected to decline much more rapidly. Uh, check back in a few months for another uh, update on this inflation uh, forecast and the long-awaited disinflation. Thank you for watching and tune in again next week for a new edition of ECOTV Week.